We are here, we are here, we are here. One is amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up G L O B. We are on the 12 month time frame. Price action last came to the right hand side is a bearish red doji cross. It's a doji candle, weak candle. What is it doing? It's tagging the support of some type of midpoint in that area. So we'll talk about that in a moment. Current price is sitting at 147.88. So if price action pushes up to a high, It can tag those numbers of 311.12. Price action work is way down. It could tag numbers near 31.04. And if we place a zone in the midpoint, we could see that the market did what? Break out, touched the high, created a double top with second and third last candle. Market came back down for a retest. So it was an overall break of the market. Market uh, came back to retest, is inside the zone. So now we're waiting for the breakout to the upside, downside, or that market continue to consolidate with doji style candles. So let's go back up to price. So if price pushes down, with price action will be. Let's go to the third last candle. So if price pushes down, it's identified as a retest. So second, second, third last candle, when it did spike that high once, it came back down. Second last candle came back for another retest, and the market dropped down. So it created an M pattern. So in that area, we do have an M formation. Market pushed down. So if the market retests, because it can come back for a retest um, up to the second level highs or higher but at least the midpoint and then still drop down but so far price action is only coming back to the low area of the second last candle and if it follows up with a bearish red candle it's coming from a double top and a retest working our way to the six month time frame so price action six month time frame is reading as a bearish red doji cross second last candle bearish red doji cross as well first candle in the market price action is a bearish red doji cross which is a spike down to a low and what that means is that price action did what spike the low of that zone okay second last candle spike the top of that zone broke out the top of the zone to tag what the sector last candle in the excuse me third last candle in the market which would be the midpoint so on the six month time frame, market is coming from a double top. Fourth last candle push up, came back to retest with the third last candle. So we have an M pattern. So we have an M. Second last candle came back to retest, I say uh, that area, and then market pushed down, and now we have that consolidation. So it's reading as a double top and a retest, and the market's consolidating. So in that pattern, it may look like this first, second, third, fourth. Uh, second last candle came back to retest the third last candle market pushed down and it just consolidated sideways so if it pushes up it'll see a w formation if not first second third fourth if not it'll drop down it'll be then it'll be coming from a double top and a retest or maybe a uh, double top and a double retest walking to the three month time frame Price action three month time frame is reading as a bullish green candle, doji style candle, second last candle, bearish red candle, doji style candle. So price in second is tagging the bottom of that zone. Third and fourth candle is tagging the top area in which broke out the top of that zone. So uh, price second, third, to fourth, the last candle is what? Consolidation it's called, because it's inside the zone and it's not able to break out of um, the previous candle. It did, but it came back down with the body. So we want to see bodies and cough the previous bodies. So example of that is uh, you want to see price action body, which would be the top of that body at the numbers of 168.40. And see that push up and go above the second to last candle body at 
point twenty, and we'll see that market work its way up, and it could be identifying trying to break out that um, zone. So let's go back to that area. So let's say price action creates the momentum and it pushes up out that area. Where is it coming from? First off, we do know it's coming from the overall uh, break of the midpoint, came back to retest. What's pattern being formed? Fifth, the last candle came down for that first leg, second leg, third leg. And that third leg is long, which would be the second and third last candle of the market created that third leg. And if price action works its way up and go off the price in second and break out the zone, we'll see that. W formation. But so far we are in consolidation, so that market is bouncing up and down. Monthly time frame, price action, bullish green can do and go off in the previous side. So the way we break this down is that price action, we do know if it pushes up higher, it can tag that overall resistance, and we're looking for the breakout of the numbers, nearing the numbers of 182.14. Then we have the midpoint, which we did see price currently just broke, and then we can see price action came from the support. So as we walk down the time frame, we are looking for what the market to identify what patterns being formed. Now, if you re if you think about the midpoint coming across and the spike down with the price and sector last candle, what pattern was formed? First, second, third, and the market push and break out for that double bottom. So that means as we walk down the time frame, the breakout of this W formation, if it does happen, we may see a break as we currently did because it did slightly break the midpoint come back to retest and push up further or we'll see bullish green candles pushing up further but we'll identify that as we walk down the time frame so on the weekly time frame price action reading as a bullish green candle still broke the midpoint of that zone area so we high mid low so we don't see a retest yet all we see is a bullish green candle that's engulfed the previous side so we're looking to see if it's going to retest or push up further walking to the daily time frame so price action daily time frame bullish green candle so let's find the midpoint of the own, which will be near the numbers of 164.07. Uh, the market pushed, still reading as a break. We don't see the retest or anything like that. If you look at where the market's coming from, coming down in red, we do have that first, second, third. Market pushed up, so we have a double bottom retest. Market pushed up once, retest with the second last candle, and market pushed up a third time. Now we're looking for the retest to see if that market's going to push up four. After four, four is exhaustion. Four, if the market doesn't push and break out to the top of that zone by the fourth push, that market's coming back down. Four hour time frame, price action reading, go back to the daily time frame. So on a daily time frame, placing the zone around. The second last candle, which is the doji, and also is a it also is a retest of that third to last candle. Four hour time frame. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. So four hour time frame. Marcus is is a retest before the push. Price action is a bearish red candle spike down to a low retest the second last candle. Let's read the market from the beginning. It started off here with the red first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Have a double bottom retest. So when that market spiked up, it tagged the bottom of that zone, wasn't able to break into it, came back to retest the previous W formation, broke into it. Okay. And then this is the market consolidating uh, yesterday and the day before that before we had to push which left a gap in the market today so we had once again reading it as first second third fourth retest one okay overall retest market pushed up twice now we're looking for this this is the retest here and we're going to see if it's going to push up if not market's coming down so basically price action is within the second to last candle in the market so that's the consolidation okay so you're looking for the breakout of the second to last candle in the market to the top side or to the bottom side. So if you want to see where it's touching at the midpoint, Mark is re retesting the second last candle midpoint. Very important information. Please review and study Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet, Breakout and Retest Strategy. Click on Images. Okay, guys. Cam Jones, FX, G L O B.